There's a lot that I see that blows my mind. 52-year-old Vincent Boyd barely recognizes his hometown. Well, no, because when I go to my neighborhood, it's, it's foreign to me because I remember the old. The way things were 36 years ago. And I got locked up in November of 81. He was 16 years old, convicted to life without parole in a robbery murder case. Says he's not angry, he's not bitter. He did the time. You know, I struggled, to be honest with you. I couldn't read, I couldn't write, so I did a whole lot of faking it. And then I grew up. He's one of the first in Philadelphia paroled after automatic life sentencing for certain major crimes committed by children was struck down, allowing him to go home. Did it. A middle-aged man in a very different world. It's challenging. What about the technology, the digital things, your phone? I call it a Pac-Man because I'm still trying to learn how to play with it. You hear me? You hear me? Yeah, sure. Vincent says he's beyond excited. He's free, but still he needs his own housing, a job, grown-up things he never had. It came too fast, and I don't think they're ready for us. Folks are on their way home, they're home, they're coming home. The numbers are in the hundreds just in Philadelphia County alone. And it's not reentry as usual. Oh, yeah. Attorneys Joanna Visser and Lauren Fine have been in the forefront of a collaboration of government services, private and nonprofits, working hard to help juvenile lifers reenter society and thrive, never losing sight, they say, of those whose lives were cut short by the child offenders. And acknowledge that every single one of their cases represents a huge loss. There is a loss in a family, in a community, in our city um, that each case represents and that can't be lost on any of this. Vincent says he wants to make amends for the past, but he's banding together with the dozens of juvenile lifers already paroled to show how much they've changed and to help make the transition smoother for others to come, if they want it. Well, you might have some people come out here that's so used to that structure that might not adapt to this. Or if enough employers will adapt to them. We are older men coming out here. Some have family, some don't. And it's very needed, you know, like, we don't ask nobody to give us nothing, but give us a shot, and you'll be surprised. Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.